What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated a buttload of trainers, and something was going up in the Pokemon Tower. Yeah, there was something really, really bad going on. We saw a ghost. Literally saw a ghost. Uh, defeated Trace, and uh, something about a Cubone. Yeah, what's going on with that one right there? But... We're going to be going on to the next thing right here. We're going to be going west to go to, uh, what was it? Celadon City. And as you can see, Team Rocket is right there. And Jesse's speaking up saying, We came all this way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? James, the only place left in the in this spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's right. We, can, we couldn't get to the top because of a strange ghost getting in the way. Dot, dot, dot. And here comes Cubone. And Meowth, of course, is talking to him. And, well, we couldn't find the old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout. At least we'll have something to show for our trouble. Right. Let's head to the ro rocket corner in Celadon City. Ma? Aw, oh, does, does the little cu Cubone want it? It's mommy. Your mommy's in Celadon City. Come with us. We'll take you there. Ma, ma. Look at this. Look at that. Now that's decided, I think we'd better blast off. Oh, damn. Okay, so that is not good. I, I, I just saw something awful. Okay, so something did happen. If you talk to this guy... Hey, did you see? Team Rocket abducted that poor Cubone. It sounded like they were headed to sell it on City, but they must be planning on taking the skull bone that it wears. It's selling it at a high price. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so, of course, we're going to have to be the hero yet again. Well, it, it, it never hurts to be the hero. We're pretty good at that. Yeah, we are very, very good at being a hero. So, let's continue on being heroes right here, guys. And, well, I'm going to be switching out Pokemon. Of course, Buck is going to get first crack because it's our weakest Pokemon right now. And look at this. Mm, she's looking fine. What a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon. Well, yes. Thank you. So, here we are, battling Beauty Aubrey, wanting to battle, and, uh, well, she's coming out with her Clefairy, so... Gonna have to take care of business right here. We're gonna take care of business. Probably should've gone with, uh, Smash right here. Well, anywho, guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit off-topic right here. Uh, it is currently September 8th, I think, as I am recording this whole thing right here. We're still in a pandemic. And, yeah, we are breezing through a lot and I mean a lot of walkthroughs including this one I just saw on me on one of my uh, my videos here that you guys can't believe that I finally got a switch and that I'm finally doing this and it's because yeah well pandemic and all that stuff there's really nothing to do plus I actually have the ability to record this through a different setup it's much better than well it's a much better setup than uh, than the one that I have for my Pokemon X walkthrough so yeah. Now, speaking of Pokemon X, still going through that. I'm hoping it'll be an everyday thing. Kind of recording a, a few episodes here and there just to make sure that I have I stock up for the next few the next few weeks. As you probably already noticed, I'm doing one episode per uh, per day. Might change, maybe I don't know, depending. But the schedule is as as it is, and. I feel comfortable in saying that these two games right here that I'm playing, both Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon X, they will be done in a in a timely manner because I've breezed through them before. Actually, I only played Pokemon and Let's Go Pikachu one time, but you know I'm old school. We've been through Kanto so many times that it is not that hard to actually get through. Now, as you can see right here, Gamer Ridge coming out with his Sea King right here, and well, look at that. Dr Dragonair. Haven't seen you in quite some time, so let's go with the Dragon Rage right here. Oh, yes. Now, eventually, I'm going to try and use Dragonair and then Dragonite as its as my elemental Dragon-type Pokemon, where it can learn, like, a Fire-type move here and there. You know, that kind of stuff, because, again, my team is yet... It's still not completed. I have six Pokemon, but there will be one Pokemon... Uh, taking a backseat later on for, you know, eventual Alolan Pokemon, which I want to use. 
may not be the most popular choice, but guess what? I kind of wanted to change up with the Pokemon that I have right here, knowing that I've used Charmander, Pikachu, uh, Nidoking way too many times. Kind of wanted to change it up right here for you guys. And we have an item right here. We found three silver pinup berries. It's pretty good right there. And there is a Pidgeotto. Now, there are some pretty rare Pokemon that you can actually find here, too. Again, if you capture yourself a Chansey, they are just going to give you a buttload of uh, experience points. So make sure to keep an eye out for that one. So let's go back to Leonardo and see what it could do right here. And this guy's ignoring me. This guy is laughing. Oh, my God. But Butkus is relaxing comfortably. Alrighty, Let's talk to this guy. You look good at Pokemon, but how is your chemistry grade? I was never really good at chemistry, guys. No joke, not good at chemistry. But anywho, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the deal right now. I know that now that we're in, like, September, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are back at school and all that crud. It's probably online school and all that stuff, too. And sometimes you get the ability to watch me and stuff. My subscriber count has gone up uh, dramatically since this whole pandemic happened, so... Again, thank you guys again for the support and the, the great comments. This is what I do on a, I guess, uh, on a part-time basis just to entertain you guys, especially now that, you know, I got plenty of time. And there we go, coughing. Another thing, too, uh, yeah, I do live in California, and right now the fires are just kicking ass. I'm like, dude, 2020, can you get any worse? I'm just saying, because, like, crud. We have an energy crisis, our governor is being a dumbass, and yes, and, and yet we still have coronavirus going on somewhere. And let's not forget the whole, you know, issues outside, the social, the social issues outside of, uh, you know, of this whole thing right here. Which is like, dude, uh, you know, of this whole thing right here. Which is like, dude, come on 2021, get over here. Kind of want to get over this whole thing right here. Hopefully it'll get better, guys. Hopefully it will get better. I know it will, but in the meantime, hey, just enjoy what, what's going on right now. Like, go on YouTube, follow me, and look at that. There is a another Pokemon right there. Now, let's see. You you should be informed. You should need a, or you need a strategy to win this. Yeah, really. <laughs> so yeah. It has been an interesting year, especially now, and this is the most walkthroughs that I've ever done in one year and have completed in one year. I am very, very surprised, and I'm actually happy because, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm like super ahead of schedule. I was actually doing, I was actually thinking of doing, uh, what was it? I was actually planning on doing Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, and all the Nintendo Switch games by next year but because of what's going on damn you you guys might be able to see this might be able to see these games uh sooner than later and wow this guy's not doing a good job with his uh, jolteon look at that body slam yeah so that's my little rant for today guys uh as of right now i'm you know recording all my free time before i train and you know uploading when i can before I train and all that stuff, so that's also good. And good God, seriously, man, come on. Four times with the pin missile, but here we go. Double kick for the win. That's right. Yeah, big eared spiky bugs bunny. Alrighty, and look at that, Smasher. Level 32. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, okay, alrighty, and Leonardo grows another level, which is great, and it wants to learn Bubble Beam, so we're going to teach him a new, better move, so we're going to take away Withdraw for right now. Eventually, it's going to have its set moves right here. Look at that. And, bam, Rocker Glen has been defeated. Yes, it's logical. Defeated you. Suck on those lemons. So let's move on. There is a hidden item right here. Alrighty, let's talk to this guy. All right, let's play a game. Bring it. Now, the comments have been have been coming. Yes, the comments have been coming to my channel for uh, I've noticed that, guys. And one of the comments that I've read really caught my attention just because it's like, well, it, it they are kind of right in a sense. Who in the heck commented on this? Uh, hold on just a sec. Hold on. I'm going to be taking a look at my, my thing while you guys are watching me kick ass. I'm multitasking right now, guys. 
Let's see, let's see, uh, let's see. I'm reading the comments, reading the comments. I'm looking for uh, my my other comments, and look at I defeat that guy. So I'm not, I'm literally not looking at the screen, guys. Literally not looking at the screen, and well, no. So we got two ladies right there, and well, let's see. Found the comment. So what's going to happen right now is I'm actually going to be switching out Pokemon. Mew de Uno needs to take a back seat. Let's go right ahead and put Buckus in the in the front right here. Elemental, and battle these two girls. Meow, this is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, so like I was saying, guys, there's a there's been a few comments onto my channel, onto my uh, games as of lately that I've been reading. One of them caught my eye because it kind of is the truth if I were to do it. Uh, let's see. Shout out goes to Ilrude. Ilrude. This was on my last episode of my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough, episode 50. What, 56? Yeah, it's episode 56 of my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. His comment reads, You didn't truly beat this game. There's the completion of the Pokedex and the Pokemon and Professor Oak battle. Well, guess what, Ilrude? Challenge accepted. So, it looks like to me that there might be one more episode of Pokemon, of Pokemon, uh, what was it called? Uh, Yellow to be to be done. So, might get on that. Now, the only thing is, I have to figure out how to do this whole Professor Oak kind of uh, glitch because it is a glitch right there. And the last time I checked, I think I've already battled the people from the spots that need this glitch to work out. So. Ill rude if you're watching th this episode, okay? Challenge accepted. It will happen. Just watch. So let's go with that double kick right here. And alrighty. There we go. Tackle attack. Oh no, not tackle attack, but double kick. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Okay, look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Everybody's getting levels, including Dragonair at level 37, which is good. And she's coming out with another meow. Seriously. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just reading everybody's uh I'm just reading everybody's comments. Again, I'm thankful that every single one of you guys are like helping me with this game too. And well, let's see. Huh. There we go. Actually, there's nothing else that I can read. Never mind. Okay, so moving on forward uh, to to a better and bigger and better things right here. Actually, hold on. I think I've read one comment right here that really interested me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. A big fan from India right here. Jai Shri Ram. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. Jai Shri Ram, who commented on my episode 5, uh, walk, uh, well, episode 5 of uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Big shout out to you. Thank you for being a fan. More shout outs to come. And again, thank you for, uh, you know, <laughs> watching this video right here. Jai Shri, uh, Jai Shri Ram. Again, Jai Shri Ram. And to answer on one of your comments right here, how can I download this game? Uh, this isn't an emulator. This is not an emulator. This is actually the, the real game. I'm actually using a, a capture card. So uh, eventually, I'm well, maybe I'm just going to show you guys what kind of capture card I'm using. That way, you guys, if you guys are aspiring to actually uh, to make walkthrough videos such as you know Nintendo Switch games or PS2, PS3 games, I might make a how-to video on that, so comment down below if you guys would like that. And look at that, this Pikachu, Thunderbolt, wow. Ah, oh, crud. Paralysis, okay, so this is going to be a gamble right here. And another Thunderbolt, good god. Oh, damn. Alright, come on. We can do this. Come on. One more hit, one more hit, and there we go. Paralysis doesn't stop us. That's right. Look at that. And every Pokemon, we defeated Megan. And, uh, yeah. Suck on those lemons. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right now, because, yeah, yeah that, this is not the business. So, let's go again. We're going to just use up all these potions right here. There we go. And right here. One more. And let's go with Smasher. One more. <laughs> and then Paralysis Heal. Well, actually, I sold all those. 
All my extra heal is just for full heals right here. And so, we're done with that. Got one more trainer to go to. But first, let's go right ahead and grab this item. And it looks like Growlithe found something. So we found ourselves a big mushroom. But I think Growlithe had uh, noticed something right here. So let's go right ahead and run through this bush. And see what Growlithe found. Alright, what what is it, boy? What is it? Let's see. Found something in the plants, and we found ourselves a golden pinup berry, which is good, I guess. And then we got one more battle right here. Now, the the whole thing with a Professor Oak battle, I'm assuming it has something to do with this guy. Nah, it can't be this guy. School is fun, but so are Pokemon. Like I said, guys, I guess there's another episode of Pokemon Yellow to to be done. So. We'll see what happens. I still got all the old, uh, all the old, uh, what was it, thumbnails and stuff. So don't worry. I gotcha. I gotcha. So there we go. Brick break because, you know what, Magnemite still a Steel-type Pokemon right here. And it survives. Crap. Baskets. Uh, shit. That wasn't good. Oh, crud. So there we go. Another paralysis. So come on. Come on. Survive, damn you. Thunderbolt. Uh, shit. It survived. Here we go. Brick break for the win. That's right. You cannot defeat my Pokemon. You cannot. And look at that. You made it clear to me that I should stick with school. That's right. Stick with school, buddy. It actually help you out. Okay. So what's next right here? Um, yeah. Okay. So we we got we got to go to the underground tunnel right here. Underground path to Celadon City. And let's see. Talk to this guy. I hear there's been a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble near Celadon City. This is true. And we're going to be going downstairs. Again, keep an eye out for Pikachu's tail. Because, again, there are some hidden items around here. And I'm just making sure to find something. And Pikachu is notifying me that it's here somewhere. Right here. It's right here somewhere. It's right here somewhere. Okay. I'm pressing that button. It's right here. Where is it? Nope. God dang it. It's right here. It's right here somewhere. There it is. We found ourselves a big pearl. Now, that's one of the one of the few items that I found uh, over in the other underground path to fund my Pokeball, you know, money and all that stuff when I was capturing Pokemon and leveling up. And it should be right here. Okay, so it's right here somewhere. Nope. Right here. Okay, so it's right here. Okay, I'm pressing the goddamn button. Damn it. See, this is what happens when you, like, don't know. I, I, that's why I need a Pokemon handbook. Where is it? Where's the spot? It's right here. Right here. There you are! Found ourselves a super potion. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you try too hard to try and find some uh, some stuff right here. And here we have another... Wait, this... Can't be this guy's item right here. Okay, so we found ourselves an X accuracy. And Pikachu will do that tail wag, tail wag if it sees an item too. Like, if there's a visible item right there. And, well, let's see. So there's something here. Okay, so there's something right here. There's something right in front of me. I can feel it. Come on. There we are. Found ourselves a repel. Alrighty. We're really trying hard with this whole trying to find all the items in this place right here. And I'm looking at Pikachu's tail. There it is. Okay, so we found something. It's right here. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. It's right there somewhere. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Where is it? Damn it. Where is it? Okay. Uh, what if I try this? Oh, it's right. There we go. Found ourselves another big pearl. So this actually will f fund us. Uh, well, it will fund our, our Pokeball fund in here. And here's another one. Found ourselves an X defense. And what else? Well, that's pretty much it right there, I think. Could be wrong. All right. If you talk to this beauty right here, do you go uh, or do you 
Do you go often? Oh, uh, you know what I mean. To the department store in Celadon City? They sell all kinds of things. It's very handy. Very, very true. Okay. So, here we are in Route 7. And right here, you'll be able to find some pretty interesting Pokemon. And this girl right here, I did not know she was here. How many gym badges do you have? I have three. This much. I think I have three. Probably. I don't know. So here we go. Ace Trainer Yvette wants the battle. She's, oh, dang. She's going to be coming out with a Raichu. And... Damn it. Yeah. I didn't think this one through. So let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go with Smasher right here. Let's take care of business, Smasher. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. It is Smasher. And a Thunderbolt does not work against us. So, let's go with a double kick. Here we go. One kick. Two kick. This Raichu is a pretty beefy and strong Pokemon. So, here comes a... I don't know what that move is. Is it Reflect? Yeah, it's a... No, it's a light screen. So, we're mostly a, a physical attacker. So, we're going to be body slamming this guy right now. Let's go. Body slam for the win. Oh, crud. Okay, let's finish this guy off. With a Poison Sting. When was the last time we used Poison Sting? Oh, damn. Quick attack. Poison Sting. And it takes care of that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And, well, she's about to come out with a Doug Trio. Yeah. That's not going to happen very... That's not going to be very good. So, let's go with Dragonair right here. I should teach it in better move. Some other moves, like water moves and all that stuff. Okay, so here comes Dragonair, and she's coming out with her Doug Trio here. Look at this guy. All strong, beefy, and everything. But you know what? 40 damage would be enough, I guess. We're going to do this three times. And here comes that Earthquake attack. Ah, oh, crud. Not so strong. Look at that. 40 HP. This guy is a little weak, so let's go again one more time. Dragon Rage. And here comes that Earthquake. Good God. Jesus, where did you learn Earthquake so quickly? Look at that. Doug Trio. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And the light screen has worn off, so she will be coming out with a seal. Let's go with the finisher. Let's go with Sparky. Yes, sir. Sparky doing its thing. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go, seal. What's up? How you doing there? You're about to get this Thunderbolt right in your face. And here comes an Aqua Jet. Very physical. Look at that. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. Yes, sir. Look at that. Pikachu's looking at us. It's like, that's right. Don't you ever doubt me. And I guess this, this Pikachu in this game is undefeated. Currently undefeated. Hasn't lost one single match, which is great. All right, so we defeated this chick, and she's like, there's a gym over in Celadon City. Do you plan on going? Yes, I do. And, well, let's see. There's an item right here. Come on, grab this item. We found an elixir, and there is a there is a Growlithe there waiting for us. Okay, so let's move on right here. There there will be some rare Pokemon in this particular area right here, guys. So not in a, not in a, in a rush to get those Pokemon. Now, there is a Pokemon coach there. So, what I'm going to do now is, well, waste the rest of these, uh, these potions right here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. Alright, and a full heal does not hurt right now. Look at that. And, well, let's go ahead and see what this coach has to say. A small path between towns. See, -hee. Route 7 is nice, right? Okay, are you ready? Sure. Now let's play in a symbol called a bot battle. What the hell? This guy, like this guy, sounds like he came out of like straight out of Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Yu right here. So here we go, trainer Alpe uh, Alpesh. What kind of a? Oh, and you know what? I'm not even gonna, not even gonna go there. But his name is Alpesh. Here we go with a Farfetch, and well, I'm sorry, Farfetch, you look cool and all, but let's go with the Skull Attack. We're gonna burn you up like the duckling you are. Look at that. Oh, yes, and you have him got burned, but here comes that Razor Leaf. Good gravy. All right, let's go with the new move, Bubba Bleem. Let's go. Bubble Bean Kamehameha. 
Yes, sir. Look at that. Yes, this Pokemon had no chance. Yes, and Budkiss grows to level 26. And he's about to come out with the Wigglytuff. Let's go with Smasher. Mainly because it does have a poison type move, and Wigglytuff is a fairy type Pokemon in this game. So let's go, Smasher. Yeah, I'm burping. Alrighty. Hey, right, Wigglytuff, you don't like me, and I don't like you, but here comes that poison sting. Oh, yeah, super effective. And here comes a facade, so. It might get stronger if it does get poisoned, so we kind of like a double edged sword right here. Look at that, and here comes a seeing nothing. Let's finish her off, Body Slam. Oh yes, almost does it, and crap baskets, we get put to sleep, god dang. <sighs> well, I guess it's time guys, it is time to use Butkus. I'm just playing guys, I know, that was kind of a trolly thing to do, but I'm actually saving you for a very special occasion. So, yeah. We're just building up its stats. That way, eventually, you know, it gets better and better. But this guy right here is kicking our ass. So let's go with a flamethrower. Yeah. Oh, this Wigglytuff is still alive. God dang it. Oh, Butkus, come on. God damn Wigglytuff. Who never thought that, who never thought that Wigglytuff would be this strong? Okay, let's go. And let's finish this guy off with the proper move, Thunder, from Down Under. Here we go, Thunder, for the win. Eat it. Look at that. Yes, sir, Wigglytuff has been defeated, and I feel happy about that. Look at that. Alpesh has been defeated. Well, Alpesh, you suck. And let's see what he can, what, he, what he's gonna give us. We get ourselves a TM12 facade, which is a very good move that you know it says right here. It's a spunky move that deals with double damage if the Pokemon is is uh, Pokemon using it has a status condition. Very good move. Very 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 good move. And well, here we are, guys, in Celadon City. Now there is one thing that I want to do before I go, and that is that there is an individual right here that you can talk to and this guy you guys may have remember him from I believe Vermilion City or Cerulean City but if you talk to this guy oh it seems like you've been having quite an adventure that means I could I should increase the moves I can teach your Pokemon so hey you do you want me to teach a marvelous move to your Pikachu sure this one's called floaty fall it's a flying type move and well, it is very beneficial, very, very, very be beneficial to our uh, to our move set. It is a very powerful one. It's the user floats in the air and then dives deep, angle, and attack the target. This may also make the poke uh, the opponent flinch. So, what we're gonna do since we already have three electric attacks, we're gonna take away Zippy Zap. We don't really need it anymore. And bam, here we have Floaty Fall instead. It's a marvelous move, which we will be using later on. Now, let's see. I've got, I've come here to collect a lot of Kintonian uh, Sandshrew. If you have a Sandshrew, please trade it to for my Sandshrew. That is exactly what I'm going to do right here because I've been looking for this guy, and well, I'm actually going to trade her a pretty crappy one because I don't know. So, the Kintonian. Sandshrew is regular, orange, and all that stuff. A ground-type Pokemon. Not very beneficial for our team, but guess what, guys? This next one is both an ice and steel-type Pokemon. And I'm thinking of using them on my team, so... Yeah, it might not be the most popular. Sandshrew right here is a very, very good one. As you can see, ice and steel-type Pokemon. Above height and weight. Uh, it's normally two feet four inches. This one's two feet seven inches height or the weight 88 pounds This one's at 88 pounds. This one's at 81 pounds and Well, she's gonna be like thanks for the great trade Alola and Sandshrew are ice type unlike Sandshrew and Kanto now Let's see if you talk to this one psst, That woman with the Abra in the corner over there rumor has it that she's amazing fortune teller You don't say so let's go ahead and talk to this girl, and <laughs> I am Madam Celadon. 
I am the one who can look into your future and see the encounters that are to come. Shall I foresee the nature of those faithful allies you have to you you have yet to meet? I charge ten thousand. Wouldn't you uh, know your? Don't you want to know your fate? Uh, maybe later because I kind of want to buy pokeballs and ice stones and you know thunderstones and all the other stones too. So talk to this guy. Hey, Poke Flute, wake and sleeping Pokemon. It does so with a sound that only can, they can hear. Okay, alrighty. So first and foremost, let's go right ahead and take a look at that Alolan uh, Sandshrew. Now, like I've mentioned before, guys, I've actually played Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. And I really do like the, 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 whatchamacallit, the, the, what was it, the regional variants right there. Extra beneficial, and it, it gives you, it gives you an advantage. Now, this one right here, this Sandshrew, is at level 27. Let's go ahead and, t wow, hold on. Let's go ahead and take a look at its summary. Now, when you trade for this Pokemon right here, of course, it is both ice and steel type. Uh, it has a docile nature and it likes to thrash about. Now, if you talk, if you look at its move set right here, it has Swift, Mirror Coat, Fury Swipes, and Ice Punch. Now, that's a dang good move when it comes to taking on like dragon types, grass types, and whatnot. Uh, if you take a look at its judge right here, it has amazing stats. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to have to try and pick which Pokemon I need to take out. Many of you guys are probably thinking that, hey, the obvious choice is Mew because you haven't used it. Well, if you guys don't remember, I actually I actually said, uh, well, I actually mentioned in the very beginning of my, uh, well, in the beginning of my walkthrough that I wanted to use a Pikachu, of course, Pokemon that I've used before, a Dragonite, because I've always wanted to use one on my team. I wanted to switch up the Nido, so that's why I have Smasher. I wanted to use a legendary Pokemon, which of course is Mew through, uh, through Pokeball. And I wanted to use an Alolan Pokemon and a starter Pokemon that I have yet to use any of my walkthroughs. So, I guess, I guess we already know who the Pokemon is going to be. Stay tuned in the next episode. It's going to get crazy because this Sandshrew right here is going to be, it's going to just start destroying everything. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.